Oh, hey. You, you know what? I don't look in the mirror all day until I'm like, I'm going to do a story today. And then I, I get on here and I realize that I have crap all over my face. And you know what's great about that? Is I've been out in the world. <laughs> you know? <laughs> so cute. Are we good now? Okay. Okay, now that I'm all sorted, um, uh, the reason that I decided to do a story thing today is um, because I got a DM that made me really sad and it was asking me for advice. Listen, I don't know why um, I'm being asked for advice, but it does make me feel good. So um, I thought I would try to be helpful. Emma is being too loud. <laughs> really? Now we're going to play? Been so quiet. I mean. So here's me trying to be helpful. The DM was asking about um, self-esteem and self-confidence and how to maintain your self-confidence if you've been wronged by someone. In particular, a uh, someone in a close relationship I can only assume that that means like a partner or something um, self-esteem is really hard to earn for yourself because I don't think that self-esteem is something that we're born with I, I think that you have to do esteemable acts things that make you feel good about yourself to have self-esteem it's hard to build that and it's hard to keep that and it's hard to not allow other people to dictate if you have it or not. It's real hard. I am definitely not perfect at that. I mean, I'm not perfect at anything. Nobody's perfect at anything. But um, it's something that I struggle with a lot because uh, I'm a sensitive person and I do give a shit about stuff. Do I always give a shit about the right stuff? No, because sometimes I let other people's opinions affect how I feel about myself. So obviously I related a lot to the message because it's something that I've struggled with. I believe everybody struggles with that. I think it's really unhealthy that in today's society, everybody's adapted this sort of like ID gaff everything attitude. Uh, because I feel like if you really adapt that attitude fully and you just don't give a fart about that, you don't give a fart about anything or anyone, um, then you're a sociopath. That's the truth. So I think, uh, a big part of having good self-confidence and self-esteem is caring about, um, what certain people think people that you respect and admire how they live their life, people that are willing to put their butts on the line for what they believe in, those are the people that you can care about what they think. Everybody else can take a seat. That's a big component to having good, solid, healthy self-esteem and not letting every little thing that every person says affect how you, how you view yourself. You have to have those people in your life that you trust that if you're getting out of line, those are the people that if they say, hey, maybe change this, you can be like, okay. Anybody else who tells you to change? Bye. And more importantly, before you even bring in what other people are saying about you, take a minute to think for yourself and be honest with yourself, which is so important and it's really hard, uh, about the things that you like and don't like and what are the things that you can change, adjustments that you can make. It can be tiny little things or big things, and it has to be for you. Um, I think it's really important to look at what has been working and what hasn't been working and be willing to um, shift and change what's not working for you. It doesn't matter what anybody else is saying. Um, the buck has to stop at you first. So if there's something that you don't like that you're doing, try to not do it anymore. <laughs> Just so you can wake up in, in the morning and look in the mirror and be like, yeah, I like you. I like you. I know that sounds really overly 
simplistic. Like, you don't like that you're doing that? Don't do that anymore. But it's kind of the truth. And while this, the concept is simple, it's not easy to make changes, but it's important that we know that we can and that we do. The most important piece of advice that I ever got was like, the longest relationship you're gonna be in in your life is with yourself. And if you can't enjoy your own company and you can't be proud of who you are as a person, then it doesn't matter if you find enjoyment in another relationship with someone else because people come and go, you don't. So I think about that whenever I'm deciding to do anything, big or small. Like tomorrow when I wake up in the morning and I look in the mirror, am I going to be okay with who I see? Am I going to be proud of that person? And if something that I'm about to do makes me feel like I won't, I don't do it. Now bringing the relationship component into it, and being betrayed, being betrayed is the most painful thing on the planet because you've given your heart to somebody and you've trusted them with it and they stomped on it. And that feels awful. I have been through that and you're not alone in your pain, but just know that that is such a reflection on that person's lack of character and integrity and it has nothing to do with you not being a person in your life like that that you can't trust with your heart enough because you are. And I gotta tell you, this is the advice that I give to all of my friends, that if anyone can take your partner away from you, then you should feel like that person can have them because you don't need them. It really sucks. It's very painful. And when you're betrayed, it's, so easy to turn everything onto yourself and that's what makes your self-confidence feel shaky is because you start to question did i cause this is it my fault and it's not because even on your worst day no one should use that as an excuse to hurt or harm you and what having faith really means in my opinion is that you may not see it now you may not know when it's going to come but you believe that it will. Being patient sucks so much, especially when you just want pain to go away, but it is 100% worth it. Trust that the right person will come along who will love you in a way that you deserve and who you will be able to love in a way that they deserve too. So now that I've rambled on for probably way too long, um, I will wrap this up by saying, young lady, you know who you are. Uh, you're gonna be okay. I'm not saying any of this stuff as someone who hasn't been through it, I've been there and I've come through the other side and I'm 100% a better person from having my heart broken because it healed, it got bigger. I feel things more deeply. I like myself more because I gave myself the time to find things that I really enjoyed outside of anyone else. I found new ways to appreciate my differences from other people and you know what i learned to ask for what i need in other people and now i have boundaries too so those are really healthy and good you're gonna be all right and trust me you deserve all the love in the world and somebody so rude i was cut off anyways i was saying that you deserve all the love in the world and that I promise you that there is someone out there who is just waiting to give that to you. Waiting. Wondering where you've been all this time. They're probably having a moment similar to you at this moment. Being like, am I ever going to find someone who can love me the way that I've always dreamt of? And the answer is yes. And you will find one another. I promise you. So everything's going to be okay. I'm sending you a big hug. I'm sending big hugs to all of you. If any of you are not going through this and you're just having a bad day. <sighs> There's always a tomorrow, always. And things do get better, okay? Be good to yourself, be good to each other. <sighs> and that's all. That's the tea. <laughs>